I think they took me when I was sleeping because I was kind of just like, whoa, where am I? And they're like, oh, we're your new family now. We're your new family. Like, I'm your dad. I'm your mom. And I'm just like, what? Get ready to get spooked. Girl, get ready to get scared. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Adria, and I'm kind of in a new spot today. I'm just trying something new. Nothing's permanent. Don't freak out. I know, I don't like change either. I kind of wanted to have a candle behind me because, you know, it's like spooky, scary time. I need a fall candle. Okay, so just a little disclaimer. I really don't know what's wrong with my mind. I don't know what's wrong with me. Am I okay? Not really. So as it's getting closer to Halloween, of course, we're like exposing ourselves to more scary things, you know, scary movies, scary YouTube videos, scary online articles. Oh my gosh, I accidentally read a creepypasta once and that was before I really even knew what creepypasta was. And I thought it was real and I was so freaked out, girl. <laughs> Nothing scarier than thinking somebody's watching you through the blinds. Oh my gosh, there's a window right next to me, girl. So as it's getting closer to Halloween, of course, we're all watching like scary movies and, you know, scary YouTube videos. You know, we just want to be spooked a little bit. That's like all the fun of Halloween. That's the whole point of this. Me, <laughs> me, I get a little too scared too easily. Maybe you guys were on my you now the one night when Brandon jumped in on me, scared me, and then I was like pretty much crying and like freaked out. I get scared very easily. But not only that, my brain likes to scare me. I don't know why. I don't think I like myself all that much apparently because my brain is like, hey Adrian, guess what? You're gonna be scared in your sleep. So <laughs> I have this terrible, terrible fear of being kidnapped, or like abducted, being held hostage somewhere. That's probably my biggest fear if I had to pick one. Honestly, I'd rather somebody just shoot me. I do not want to be a hostage. I don't want to be kidnapped. Don't do that to me. It's scary. I don't know if this is the origin of that, but a few years ago, my sisters actually almost got kidnapped. So there was this pond in the woods and it was actually called Creepy Pond. Why would you go there, right? It had like turtles and frogs and fish in it. And, you know, we would go feed the fish sometimes. One day I wasn't there. I had had a big fight with my sisters. I was so pissed at them. I mean, this was like years ago and you just like had like eh, eh, little sister fights. So then my mom and my sisters were at Creepy Pond. Be careful what you wish for because that day I was wishing that I didn't have my sisters anymore. I wanted to be an only child. I was like, girl, I'm so done with you. I don't like sisters. Sisters suck. So they were at the pond and my mom was there with them. And apparently there was this woman who who approached my mom and just started talking to her, right? So my sisters are like looking in the pond, looking at like the turtles and the fish. You know, my mom's talking to this woman and out of the corner of my mom's eye, she sees a guy standing in the woods, standing there, like watching. That's scary. Okay, so I guess my mom's motherly instinct went off like, okay, we gotta get out of here. This is fishy. Cause normally there weren't really people in these woods. It was very, very rare you'd see another person there. Cause it was really in like a private kind of neighborhood type thing. It wasn't like a local park or anything. It was very private. I don't think I ever remember seeing a stranger in there ever. So it was odd that there was a woman in there talking to my mom, first of all. And then my mom sees a guy like standing off in the distance in the woods. So my mom says to my sisters, okay, like we gotta go. If your mom's telling you to go to the car, do not fight her on that. Do not fight her on that, okay? If your mom says, go run to the car, do not ask questions. Don't ask her why, okay? Because that's what they were doing. They were like, why, why, why? Because I guess they hadn't been there all that long and they didn't want to go. My mom is like, just go. And like this woman is trying to get my mom to not go, not to Oh, girl. So then they run to the car and they get in there and my sister's like, what was going on? What the heck? And my mom was like, that lady was trying to kidnap you guys, okay? So I guess it was like the two of them, like she would be the distraction. And then when my mom was distracted, that guy would just run and grab them. Thank God it didn't happen. Obviously it didn't happen. They're safe. Then later on, I guess, I don't know where my mom was, but we were on the phone with each other. And I was just like saying to her like how mad I was at them and like how much like I wish I was an only child. And she was like, well, that almost came true tonight because your sisters almost got kidnapped. I was like, wait, what? And as much as I wanted to be an only child so bad, I would never want anything to happen to my sisters ever or my brother. Never. So never wish you were an only child because be careful what you wish for. It might happen in a scary, demented way. So I'm afraid my hair is going to go in that candle. I just have this terrible fear of being kidnapped. Whenever I hear things about kids getting kidnapped and things, 
And um, that story, oh my gosh, that Dr. Phil thing, that woman, I think there was two women who were kidnapped for like 11 years, who were hostages, the one woman like had a baby. Stuff like that just freaks me out. But at the same time, it kind of intrigues me too. Like it's interesting, but it's completely terrifying. Oh, then this other time, okay, I was like, <laughs> yeah, you would like beg your parents, like take you somewhere, like, oh, I need this. Please take me somewhere. I don't know, that was always me. Whenever like kids in my class would have like this new thing, I'd be like, we have to go get this today. And my mom would be like, can we go this weekend? I'd be like, no, like it's relevant right now, girl. We gotta go. One night my mom was gonna take me, I think it was like to the craft store. I was that weirdo kid that like wanted pencils and shit. Like, I don't know. So we were about to go to think to the craft store from what I can remember. I was in like fifth grade and my mom wasn't outside. I was just standing out by the car in my driveway and right across the street from my house where I used to live were these woods. I'm not just talking like three trees, girl. It was like woods. I'm standing by the car waiting for my mom to come out and there's this guy walking down the sidewalk, okay? So he looks at me. Like We like make direct eye contact. So he's looking at me. I'm like looking at him and he keeps walking, but then he turns and looks back at me again, right? And not just like looking, he's like, he had on these eyes, okay? And then he keeps walking again. And then out of nowhere, he's like looking around himself frantically and then just darts across the street into the woods. I lived on like a highway. He didn't even look across. He could have gotten hit by a car, just darted into the woods. Girl, I'm not about to stand around here and wait to get kidnapped, okay? I'm telling my mother. So I told my mom. She called the police. There were police all up in those woods. They didn't find him. Kind of scary, okay? Go into the woods. Nobody found you. Where did he go? I'm just wondering what was so urgent. Did he climb a tree? Did he get lost in a tree? I don't know. <laughs> but that was really weird. So since it's like October and fall and spooky stuff, I mean like, what do I have back here? I don't have any Halloween decorations. So I put this in the video. I was like, oh, this is kind of scary. And then we have this. I mean, that's... That's kind of scary, right? But anyway, now for my dream last night. This is probably the scariest dream I've ever had in my life. I've had a lot of scary dreams, okay? I had one like a few months ago about like going on a field trip and this girl like had a bomb. I don't know, like what's wrong with me? I don't know. And I tend to get like a lot of anxiety before I go to sleep as well, so I think that's also where this comes from. But so in my dream last night, basically the whole premise of it from what I can remember is this guy was a self-proclaimed soul collector. He collected people. He collected souls. He wanted them alive. He didn't want people dead because, you know, when you're dead, your soul leaves your body. He wanted people alive and he would keep them in like underground like cages. He wanted their souls like around his house. That's like that. Yeah. What? Am I all right? Is somebody putting something in my food? I swear, like, I'm not okay. So he kidnapped this woman. He, like, made her his wife and everything, and she went along with it. He, like, brainwashed her, I guess, like, grooming, you could say. He, like, groomed her into thinking that their relationship was normal and the situation was normal and him, like, capturing people, being a soul collector was normal. So then one day they decided, like, oh, we need a child, right? We need to be, like, this all-American family girl, you know, like, soccer mom status. So we need to kidnap a girl. So that's where I I come in. Okay, so they kidnapped me, this young girl. I don't even remember the process of getting kidnapped. You would think that would be the most vivid part in my mind. I think they took me when I was sleeping because I was kind of just like, whoa, where am I? And they're like, oh, we're your new family now. We're your new family. I'm your dad. I'm your mom. And I'm just like, what? So then they groomed me into thinking that this was all normal. I was like, oh, okay. Like, hi, mom. Hi, dad. Girl, that's not normal. Am I all right? I think <laughs> I need Dr. Phil. I need therapy. Am I all right? I don't know. He would like dig a hole and like put like a dog cage in it and then he would drop the people into it so they were like under the ground. So then what he did was he would like stage it to look like all the people and animals. Oh yeah, he captured animals too and killed them. Anything alive, he would just capture it and kill it. This story's scattered. But anyway, he made their deaths all look like natural. Like he didn't do it. I remember the one, it was like a dog. It looked like a wolf though. And he like put the dead body like on top of the shed and he was like, oh no, Sparky died. I'm just like, girl, you know, now that I'm awake, I'm like, girl, no. But in my dream, I was like, oh no, Sparky died. I don't his name wasn't even, I don't even think he had a name, but we were like, oh no, the dog died. And like, he made it look like such an accident, but he had like a ritual and how he killed them. So their soul would like stay in the house. So like he killed them in a special way. That's why when he kidnapped them, he kept them alive. Yeah. Okay. You know when you have to like say your dream out loud to make it 
sound like an actual thing. But then I started to get really suspicious of what was going on because a lot of other people that were in the house started dying because it was like a mansion. It was a huge, huge house. And I think there was like a butler and like there was just like other people living in the house and they all just started dying. And he would just be like, oh no, they died. And I was just like, how is everybody dying? So I got suspicious. I went down into the basement and I found like all the holes with the cages in them, people and dogs and animals. And I was just like, the hell? what's going on. So then I go to my mom and I'm like, girl, the jig is up, honey. What's going on? So at first she's like denying it heavily because again, like she was groomed into believing everything he said. But then she started to crack and she was like, he's a soul collector. He, he gets energy from the souls of people. So he puts them under the house and then he kills them in a way. So their soul stays here so that I don't know, it does something for him. It gives him a thrill. I don't know, girl. But so I was like freaked out and I was like, girl, I'm going to kill him. And she was like, no, you can't. She's like, I've always wanted to. I, I've tried to, I can't. This is how the dream ends. Okay. This is like so anticlimactic, but I hear the shower running. I'm like, oh, He's taking a shower. So what do I do? I grab a knife. I stand on top of the sink, reach over, and I stab him in the neck. And then I woke up. Adria Killen, are you okay? I don't know. If any of you guys out there are like dream analysts or you know things about dreams, maybe you could let me know what any of this means. Doesn't mean I'm crazy. Doesn't mean I'm secretly a serial killer. Does it mean I'm just terrified of being kidnapped and being killed and maybe I just watch too many scary documentaries about people getting kidnapped? I don't know. I... Ugh. But anyway, that was my dream. I don't really know what to make of it. You know when your dream kind of disrupts your mood for the rest of the day? Like for the rest of the day you're just like that's me today. I'm just like, I feel like I can't go about my life. I'm like, what is life? Am I okay? No, my hair isn't okay either. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little spooky, sc I was gonna say scory time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little spooky, scary story time. Yeah, if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and maybe hit the subscribe button because I post videos three times a week. And you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. All that other good stuff is down in the description box below if you'd like to follow me. I will see you guys again real soon. Until then, Pam hugs. I love you guys. Bye.